Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead, working on our 1950 model Cove Formal. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going to be replacing the inspection plate here, that's, um, or the identification plate, it's, not the, it's called an identification plate. Uh, we're going to be drilling out these rivets here that's in it. Now if it's standard and it's never been messed with, those are probably brass from the factory. The new ones we got are, are going to be aluminum. So the first step we're going to do is we have a punch here that has a very sharp tip on the end of it. We're going to try to get as close in the center of that rivet as we can. And we're going to try to make us a little tiny hole get started in it. What this is going to do is going to help our drill bit to stay pretty close to the center of that. Now, we're going to try, I guess we're going to go ahead and punch them all so we'll have them done. And it's a little aggravating with the steering gear and all right here, but I believe we're going to be able to make it. There we go. Now, it may not be exact in the center, but now I've got a 564 drill bit here. All right, guys, I need to make a correction on the drill bit size that I drilled the rivets out with. It's not a 564, it's a 764 size drill bit because I'm not sure about what size those actually are. So I'm And just as I suspected, it ran to the side just a little. I'm trying to force it back down to being in the center. Actually know how deep in there those go. We're gonna go down to our next one here. Oh, that one didn't get punched into quite in the center. I, I can feel it trying to run off. Nope, I can look at it and tell there. A little hard to get there. What we have is we have an alamite right here that's uh, actually in my way of being able to get there. Those are brass. I do see the brass now. This is in the way. Now this is going to be a little bit more difficult. The drill will not get in there. So this one I'm going to have to be very careful with. Just like I thought it's trying to go up at an angle. Nope. 
Well, guys, I'm gonna have to sit and work on this one for a while to see if I can get a figure out how to get it drilled. You don't make one long enough to. See if I can't go ahead and take that plate off. <laughs> Close. Close. I did it. We got the plate, but now we haven't got the uh, haven't got the pin out. Now see what hair. Parts of the pin actually came out with these. Uh, so that tells me we probably are pretty close on our hole size there. I'll have to get a light and look up in there, but um, we're gonna have to try that one right there and see what we can do about getting it out. I don't actually know if the brass is gonna be soft enough to It ain't, it ain't wanting to drill just right. There's always going to be a problem. Okay. Looks like the pin may be wanting to try to come out of there. I was hoping that that would happen. The handy dandy knife. There it is right there. That's the pin we were trying to get out of there. Now, the big question is going to be, are these holes deep enough for the new pins? Okay, this is how I'm going to test to see if my holes are deep enough for the new pin. Stick my drill in there. I put my finger on the end of it and I can pull it out. And it looks like we're plenty deep for the new pins on that one. Yes, plenty deep on that one. Oh, I can look at the way that and slid in there. Yeah, way plenty deep on that one. Now this one we're in question about right here. That hole, huh? Well, I can't get my drill bit to stay. Right. Hang up on something. Having to drill at an angle, it's not wanting to drill. I see the hole. This got I see the hole deep in yonder, so the hole is plenty deep. I can take my light off of this and look and see. Yeah. Now the only one I can't Yeah, we're plenty deep, I believe. All right. We're going to take and see if we can't scratch a little bit of this old surface off here where the trash has got behind it. Seems to be just a few little patches of some dirt and rust. And... Make sure we get a good, clean, smooth surface to... Alright guys, I already have stamped in the uh, engine serial number on this right here and the RPMs uh, that was on the original plate. 
Now I'm fixing to put the model in. Uh, I've looked at a lot of different plates online from this year to model tractor. Most of them seem to have an F, a dash, and then a CUB for cub on it. So I think that's what we're going to go back with as far as being the model. And you ordered this plate. Yeah, this is a new plate that I ordered here. Now we're going to find the letter F in here. I'm going to have to get on a solid steel surface to do this. Um, I need a good smooth surface. We'll try this right here. Because I want a good steel surface behind it. Make sure I get my F turned in the right. It has a letter F on the bottom side of it there. And we'll put it right here. Try to get it lined up as good as we can. We'll see how it works on this. There we go. See the letter F there? We've got a nice F. Now we're going to put uh, the word cub. Okay, my kit didn't come with a, a hyphen in it or a dash, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to just take a straight edge screwdriver and put it up in the center right here because the original plates showed a dash there. we're going now we have an F a dash now we're going to do the word cub on my right one here here we have the letter C you have to make sure it's turned right yeah that's a big issue you want to look at it make sure you turn it right and make sure you get it straight up and down okay We got the U here. It's very difficult to know about the spacing of everything here. That's the big issue is the spacing. But I don't guess it's that important that we get it perfect. The U. And a B. And this is the old timey way. People used nowadays are used to it being done by machine. Yeah. There we go. We have our F dash cub on it here. plate up here now. These are the little aluminum rivets that come. What I'm going to do is just kind of temporarily stick them up there and just just going to kind of like lightly tap it. I want to make sure they all go in there. Did these come with the plate or did no, you? No, I had to order them. You have to order these two to a kit. So each thing comes separate. You have to buy... Every little detail part of this thing comes separate. Just because you order the plate doesn't mean you get these little rivets. This is the hard one. That's why I want to get it first, see? There you go. I'll make sure they all fit in the hole before I go to hammering anything in solid. Well, not easy. I know we're here to work. One more. Well, 
<laughs> okay, not easy. Not easy. I mean, you got very little space here to get anything in there. I suppose if you took it to a shop somewhere and had something like this done, they would be, they would probably take all the plows off of it and everything so they'd have room to get in here. Nope. I'm wondering, is that hole even matching up? Because you don't have room to put your hand in there and hold it, plus work. work at the same time, yeah. Nope. Okay, so there's always a problem. Always. I knew there was going to be one of them. That's why I was like, let me just... I would have thought it would have been the other one up there. Nope. It's just, it's just shooting it. It's there. But it's shooting it. I don't feel a hole. I did, but um, that's the problem. I'm not. Ain't, ain't a hole. There it is, right there. It's down a little far, down from it. That's, that was the problem. That's the issue. Now let's try it. Again. Let's try it again. Now, the hole wasn't quite exact. There you go. All right, I knew it was, something had to be the problem. Guys, this is a 3 8 extension. I don't advise using your good tools for this, but the way this is located, I have absolutely no way to get in there with a hammer. And I don't have a brass punch. That's pretty solid. That one went in. This is my hard one. Or I thought it was anyway. Oh, not hard at all. It worked. All right. Now then, look at there. This is what we have now, guys. This is my new identification plate for my tractor. Guys, I want to do this video because I realized that a lot of people have issues doing this, just like me, like the steering rods in the way. If you can find a longer drill bit, that would, that would make it a whole lot simpler to do. The plows here, you have to let them all the way to the ground, because if you don't, these arm, this arm here is actually folded over right in the middle of that, so you have to let your lift all the way to the floor uh, in order to be able to get in there to do this. So hopefully this will help somebody in the future changing out their identification plates. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.